Now, for instance, on this one, I could add a blue shimmer spray. That, pretty, that could be pretty cool. So let's see. Put that aside. Um, shimmer sprays. Let's pull them out. Uh, where is the... thinking the blue. Nice turquoise blue. Calypso teal. That's the one I, was, I had in mind. So remember, the uh, metallic particles always go down and stay at the bottom. So you need to shake this until you hear the ball. There it is. Rattling. Oh my gosh. And then that is... Accident! I have to clean that up. Okay, well that was fun. Um, this would be referred to as the Calypso Teal incident or my attempt at uh, turning into Smurfette <laughs> because I was getting slightly, um, I'm turning blue slightly. So what has just happened is that um, this bottle cap was not screwed on tightly enough so when I started shaking the bottle um, quite vigorously the ink just splattered everywhere. So I've just cleaned up. Uh, I can still see some now. <laughs> just cleaned up my surface and all my bowls around and my wall as well. You can imagine that um, that just went everywhere. And even though I think I've cleaned up most of it, I'm sure it will reappear in places I have not noticed just yet, except that then when I notice it later, it'll be dry. So I won't be able to take it off. <laughs> Anywho, such is life. Living dangerously as an artist. Um, so my plan was to spray some shimmer spray and I'm going to make sure that this is nicely adhered to. Just some shimmer spray which is now okay. Just like that. And maybe, let's try them, I should just check my balls before shaking them. A little bit of the fresh lime. didn't matter that this cap was on because it was unscrewed here the black spot so anyway make these blend in oh it's just so beautiful just on top of this so the reason i'm doing it on here is because i do want to get some of that yumminess it's fine i'm gonna put it on the back of this one pick that up Try to press quite hard. Get most of it. Oh, so yum yum. That's going to be pretty when it's dry as well. Just going to roll my paper towel on top to catch up some of the excess. And then I'm going to lift that off. Now there's going to be ink on the back of this stencil, obviously, you know, always happens. So I'm going to put it on top of this one, just so I don't waste it. Oops, it was very nicely stuck on there, that's for sure. And then to go with my hands, you know, at this stage I'm covered in ink anyway. That's just how it is. Oh, I didn't get much actually. I thought there might be some that would seep through the stencil, but not so. So this is very, very discreet. I don't even know if you're going to pick it up. I'm going to have to put it on this one. If I have any chance of even seeing that. I'll be able to see it, I think, but you guys may not be able to pick it up because it's very subtle. Just little circles of shimmer. Okay, now I can barely see barely see them it's just too subtle so okay that didn't quite work as planned uh, what I will have to do is just put the stencil on top and do it uh, the normal way I guess now that one's a bit wet so let's find another stencil I'm gonna use this one this is an old juggles stencil I I don't think you can find it anymore and I'll just do it the normal way just 
this through there, and a bit of blue. And then that left over I will pick up with this page. If I flip that down, then it could get messy. So not that it matter at this stage. But anyway, let's pick that up. I just want to get that excess on top of the stencil, not so much what's inside. Because I do want some of that to stay on the print below, obviously. Oh, that's so nice. Let's just, I'll wait until it flattens a little bit so I can show you. Flatten you. Okay. That goes in my sink. And then now I can see that pattern a bit more. I'll be able to show you as well. Let me just roll that over. That's beautiful. I really love this. And can you see that shimmer? It was just simpler to do it through the stencil for this. I thought we might get a more interesting effect, perhaps trying on the gel plate, but not so. So yeah, that's beautiful. I love that area where it's just mixing into a nice green. Hopefully you can pick that up. There you go. Okay, that's that done. And let's just roll over that one so you can see the yumminess. Try to get the shimmer to appear a bit more. Hopefully you can pick that up. So if you spray um, the inks and the shimmer sprays directly onto the plate instead of the paper, you get different effects. You know, the gel plate will give you that kind of uh, pattern, like watery, more than if you spray directly on the paper. So you just have to try it yourself so you can see what I'm talking about. But you definitely get a different effect. It's a bit more mottled, I guess, if that's a word. Then this one is so cool. I love how I get like little green spots inside those circles. Let me try to show you. I mean, this was super easy to do, so. And I'm going to leave this one as it is. I love how it's sort of, you get a bit of a gradation there. That's cool. Love it. Love that one. I'm just going to leave it as it is. That one, it could definitely do with a little bit of sprucing up. Um, so I'm going to do the same as I did before, which is add some paint with my roller. It's something that I love doing because it's super easy and quick. And um, you get a fun mix me your background to play with pretty quickly so let's add you could add some shimmer obviously and um, that's always cool but I'm going to do something different so my all my pages here don't end up looking the same um, a little bit of pink maybe although we already have a bit of pink throughout I just love it so much <laughs> who doesn't love pink I will just we'll go with pink <laughs> uh, and then I'm just looking through my tubes here uh, I'm going to add, actually, let's do some different kind of pink. Let's do some pearlescent pink. I'm going to use this um, Lumiere paint by Jacquard. So it's a very um, liquid paint that you can use on a lot of surfaces. So just like regular paint, it's an acrylic. Um, you know, you can use it on paper and canvases and all of that. But you can also use it on leather and fabric and all sorts of fun stuff. So look it up. Now, like I said, it's a bit more liquid, this one. Much more liquid than the Liquitex Basics. I'm just going to add just a little bit of a line here. And then do the same with my roller. And just kind of add some fun texture and pattern at the same time. And I have other colors in this brand, so I might as well just use some of those. I've got a nice pearlescent blue. And what's also really cool about this brand is that um, they, well, they do have a lot of the pearlescent, you know, reg regular iridescent, pearl and pink and blue and all, all of that. But they also have a two-tone, um, some two-tone paints. So for instance, this one is called Violet Gold and I don't, know if the, I don't think the camera will pick it up because it's not that subtle, but it is a purple with some gold in it. So when you have that on your surface, you get 
a little bit of both a bit of purple and a bit of gold depending on how the light shines on it uh, and there's some other beautiful colors and my one of my favorites is called um, halo violet gold no sorry halo blue gold this is the halo violet gold so same thing it's a blue with some gold in it and there's all sorts of different ones so I'm trying to do a very thin layer but also some texture so I'm going to Sort of lightly go across, just lightly, and then just I've got some leftover paint. I'm going to put it on top of this one, just off camera. Then I'm going to do the a bit more color and add some of that blue. Now close that up. So this was called Pearlescent Magenta, this was Halo Violet Gold, and this is Pearlescent Turquoise. I like to shake them up a little bit as well, especially if I haven't used them in a little while. Now it's going to mix with a bit of my, oops, Violet, that was a lot. I don't need that much. It's going to mix a little bit with my Violet because it's still a bit wet, but that's okay. I'm making a bit of a mess today. <laughs> so just spare it lightly. Oh, so pretty. It just takes your background to the next level to add some iridescence, I think. Let me just try to show you that a bit closer so you can see. See that beautiful iridescent really just shows up depending on how the light hits it so that looks really cool and you know me i love anything metallic and iridescent <laughs> i'm addicted so that's that and then let's go back to this one which it's got stuff happening but not tons so since i've got some blue you're gonna get some blue as well but a bit more i think well, it's giving me a really nice um, sort of, how can I, I don't know how to call that, uh, dull down, I suppose, like distress kind of look. That's nice. Go crazy and put it everywhere now. <laughs> now, I don't want it too dark. I don't like my backgrounds to be too dark. So, since I've got the pearlescent white here, why not? It's just calling my name. Not too much. I'm going to be crazy with the paint now. I'm going to have to add this one everywhere. That's okay, like it's white. But that is going to kind of make it a little bit... Um, tone it down a little bit, but that looks... And I'm really just playing with my brayer when I'm doing this create some cool texture which I will show you in a moment just hang on <laughs> bear with me so the white um, is applied in a thin layer so I'm still able to see um, all that texture underneath and then I don't want to waste the leftover paint so I'll add it to another page let me show you in the meantime what I'm talking about it's that beautiful Try to show you up close that texture created with the brayer. Not too close because that's massive if you look at it on a big screen, especially. <laughs> I don't want to blind you, but I really love that cool area here that's kind of funky. I hope you can pick that up. Um, so yeah, that leftover white, let's decide where to put it. I'll put it on top of this one, tone these areas down a bit, that blue is quite strong. Hmm, I need a little bit more actually, because I love that texture there. So, that's a bit more. I thought I had too much, but not so. So this time I'm doing the, a layer of paint a little bit thicker just to get extra texture. 
and to cover some of that blue. Now, if you find that it's a little bit too much, too covered, then you thought, ah, you know, bring it back a bit, then I can mop it up just a little bit. Or just use a baby wipe if you want. It's going to be beautiful, that one. It was a bit meh for a while here, but with that white on top and the texture, now I'm loving it. And the fact that it's sort of toned down a little bit. I hope this is giving you some ideas and inspiring, inspiring you to learn English. <clears throat> uh, just inspiring you to go get your gel plate out and have some fun. Because it really is fun. You just have to get into it. Alright, let's see. That's delicious. Love that. And you see like how it looks here just you know nothing too much happening but then when you put it in the light look at that it's just so cool beautiful colors if you haven't tried those uh, that brand then give it a go it's called jacquard lumiere so jacquard is the same brand that makes um, the pinata alcohol links if you did not know Okay, so this is my little uh, jelly, jelly printing slash gel plate session for today. So that's one print. That's another. Put that aside. Then we have this one. A lot of metallics today, no surprise. This one doesn't have too much going on, but it'll, be, it'll make an interesting background later on. Then again some cool metallic colors and I like the fact that it didn't absorb the um, dilution inks in the background they stayed true to their colors so that's good to know this one well very simple but I just I love it I uh, hope you can sort of pick that up because it's just so pretty it's so hard to show texture and shimmer and metallics on camera and on you know video or a regular camera unfortunately and then that one again there you go you can see it shine oh it's so cool lots of colors that's beautiful background i don't know if i'm even going to touch that and then nothing <laughs> some more space to do more gel printing later on all right guys i hope you've enjoyed this if you did then um just let me know by you know leaving me a comment a thumbs up if you're watching on youtube and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe so i can you know bring you more videos if i've got a lot of comments positive comments and likes then that's how i know that you've enjoyed this otherwise you know i'm not psychic how do i know and that also means that you want me to put up more videos so i will do that and if you're watching on uh, my website mimibondi.com Thanks for stopping by there for sure. Um, leave me a comment and say hi because that's way more personal than on YouTube and I can interact more with you there on my website just because it's like my home on the internet. So make sure to visit. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video very, very soon. Bye for now, guys.